us, Rose Hill is more than just a girl's school. It's it's a family. Aside from teaching us science, math, grammar, they're also concerned about their personal formation. Yeah, and through this, our teachers help us, our mentors, our friends, even the staff. That's why we're happy here in Rose Hill. <laughs> Sale is very conducive to learning. Here in Rosedale, they try to help each other um, excel. A better person, uh, like a student, a daughter, and a sister. We commit ourselves to the integral formation of the students, which means academic excellence and instilling Christian values so that they can be better service to God and society. The classes are rather small, from 20 to 35, which means a teacher can guide the students properly because she can spot the strengths and the weaknesses of each student. because um, the teachers always make sure that the lessons they give are understood by the students and they don't, uh, they don't hesitate to teach it over until we understand it. So we really learn well. can they apply in school, they can also apply in life. And these things are the, the things that actually help us and shape us as a whole and as a character. formation would include outreach activities such as the family outreach that we have every March. We also have spiritual activities which include retreats, uh, spiritual recollections, and other leadership activities such as those organized by the student council and membership to various student organizations here in school. I also tries to offer a holistic uh... A program for the girls it's not just uh, academics and also aside from uh, for the particular girls it's also for the families no? primarily the parents and also the, um, the staff the teachers and then the students no? and then a very essential part of the 
holistic formation that uh, everyone tried to receive here is a spiritual formation uh, and that's why we have the chaplaincy here which we try to offer uh, spiritual activities like regular confession, meditation, daily masses, spiritual direction and all of this in order to uh, give direction to everything that they do in life. No? And the chaplaincy is uh, entrusted to Opus Dei, no? and Opus Dei is a personal predature of the Catholic. Although, uh, parish schools are not religious schools, no? they're non-sectarian, non so they're open to all faiths, no? as long as they adhere to the philosophy of the school. And, uh, well, Opus Dei is here in order to not only to give, to guarantee the, the spiritual uh, uh, needs of the people here and also the doctrinal formation, uh, but also uh, to give the spirit of Opus Dei, no? which uh, St. Jose Maria has entrusted to us. It is a very beautiful spirit and we think that it is a spirit that, uh, that many people no? throughout the world can, uh, can, uh, can merit from. No? Homeschool collaboration is a distinct mark in all the parish schools where the family and the school communicate and work together for an effective and well-rounded education of the child. I feel like it's almost like having a second mom in your school because you know that you can tell them anything and you can confide in them and it's completely confidential, so it's great. system is the homeschool collaboration and I admire the Secretary of Education, Brother Luistro, for seeing the advantage of the system that I think he has um, encouraged other schools to also adopt this homeschool collaboration. So, no matter how good the system is though, I think the parents have to cooperate by being sincere and honest in their mentoring chats. They have to if they really desire the uh, formation of their child, they have to be honest and sincere in their chats. Uh, because if they do not tell the whole picture to their mentors, this system will also fail. You can leave the students in trust that they will behave because that is how strong their value formation is. Since it is a small school, and since there is a mentoring system, the students can be properly directed towards values and towards becoming women of um, service and giving their time towards uh, spiritual growth and um, concerns which are not on the material basis. And students can really experience a lot of training here in leadership and uh, exploring their talent. So we hope you can be part of the Rosil family and we're so excited to have you with us and I can assure you that in Rosil your daughters will be in good hands.